Hey, I'm David Kokab from Restaurant Trentina in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm one of Star Chef's 2016 Rust Belt Rising Stars. With the help of the Vita Prep 3, we're gonna be making a nodal a la Trentina with a turnip soubise, crispy sage, and crowdy rosa. Let's go. Traditionally, soubise is a straightforward butter, onion, and rice sauce. We're gonna omit the rice and channel some flavors of Apicius who is credited with having the first cookbook uh, discovered. First, we'll add uh, our onion. I just gave it a rough small dice, just so it'll cook a little more quickly. Next, I'm gonna add our turnips. These turnips have just been dried overnight. Here I have golden raisins, saffron, fennel seed, and a little chili flake. This is really gonna round everything out. Last but not least, and probably the most important part of this sauce is the butter. Once so we have all our components, uh, we're gonna go to the stove with this. We're gonna let this sauce simmer on the stove for about 30 minutes on the lowest flame possible with a lazy cartouche on top. Now we're gonna go into making our Southern Tyrolean dumpling, or nodal, as they would refer to it in Austria. Um, we are going to do this in the Vitamix, mainly due to how smooth a product it is going to give us in the end. Uh, normally we'd use rye bread, we work with a really awesome bagel company, uh, Cleveland Bagel Company, so today we're just going to use some bagel ends. We're going to be adding all of our dry ingredients at once, a little bit of baking powder, double of flour, and some Trentagrano. We will just be using variable speed three for this. After we get our dry ingredients uh, back to a flour consistency, we're gonna add our wet ingredients. We wanna do this while the machine is running. We're gonna get this going to uh, all the way up to variable speed 10. First the eggs. And then the milk. The final wet ingredient we want to add is our rendered beef fat. You can use any rendered animal fat, olive oil, uh, or clarified butter. What we're looking for is a very smooth, yet thick consistency. The next process would be to remove it from the Vitamix, add it to a mixing bowl with our speck ends that we've roughly chopped, and finish by folding it in with a spatula. And in about the time that it took to make the nodal dough, let it rest and portion it out, our soubise uh, is now ready. All you're looking for in the sauce is that all the vegetables are soft and cooked through. Using a Vitamix, we don't have to add any additional emulsifiers. The sauce will emuls stay emulsified on its own. We're gonna go all the way up to variable speed 10 and then kick it into high. This is about the thickness that we want. We don't want it to be too thin. At this point, our soubise has been pureed smooth and our dumplings are portioned. It's gonna be poaching the nodal in heavily salted water. After about five minutes of cooking, our nodal will be floating and probably have been for the last two minutes of their poach. At this point, we'll remove them from the poaching water directly onto a towel so they can dry before we crisp them up in a little butter and extra rendered beef fat. Once all of our nodal are reaching golden brown delicious stage, we're gonna go ahead and throw a nice sprig of sage in so the aromatics permeate the fat and we wanna make sure we get it nice and crispy as well. Once the nodal are brown on all sides, we can remove them from the fat straight to a towel again to soak up any extra fat that may come along. At Trentina, we like to give our, uh, our crispy dumplings a nice base of this apicius inspired soubise. We're gonna plate with about two fluid ounces of the sauce. Then after we have the sauce down, we're gonna simply place our browned nodal right on top of the puree. Don't forget about our crispy sage. We're also gonna finish this with some crowdy rosa or some fermented red cabbage, just for some acidity to break through all the rich components that are on this dish. We're gonna finish it off with a little bit of Trentagrana. 
Now, with the help of our Vita Prep 3, we have Spec Nodal a la Trentina with an Apicius inspired Subis, Crowdy Rosa, and Crispy Sage. <laughs>